Hey there, so welcome back to another video. So, um, as you can see from the title and the thumbnail and all these things, I'm thinking about doing a, another series on my channel, the Redo series. So basically, in the beginning stages of my channel, I sort of like posted just to post, if that makes sense. And even if the final product of the makeup look or the video was never, wasn't good, I sort of just like carried on and posted it anyways. Hold on, let me just get my mirror work. Um, no. So, yeah, I kind of like posted to post and then if it didn't go as planned, I kind of just carried on and posted it anyways. So there were a few videos that maybe the video came out well, but then the look wasn't right. Or I'm mainly just focusing on videos where the look didn't come out right. Um, and one of the first ones that came to mind was my 60s video. So I did like a history of 60s makeup trends, basically. And the biggest problem in that video was the fact that I couldn't do a symmetrical eyeshadow <laughs> and I kind of just left it and like posted the video anyways where I could have reformed it and made sure that it was symmetrical and then posted that version but instead I kind of just like left it and was lazy so it's not a very good like reflection of my skill if that makes sense um and like I know that we all have like bad days and stuff like that so we'll say that that was like a bad makeup day but also i could have paid more attention to how it was looking so yeah so it's just gonna be like a mini series if i'm being honest just because there are only a few looks that come to mind where like i'm thinking i need to redo that to like redeem myself <laughs> with all that being said though let's move on to the video i think it goes this way Okay, so let me just say that I'm not going to redo the video, so I'm not going to redo the facts. I'm just going to redo the look. <laughs> if you want to know about 60s makeup trends, you can go watch that video. Um, so yeah, I think, so instead of redoing the video, I'm literally just going to sit here and talk. I don't know, we'll see. Because like, I need to speak enough for it to fall that time, but I don't know what exactly to speak about. So yeah, maybe let's talk about the other videos so the other videos that i want to redo is now these videos the video itself came out really good but it's just the product of makeup that i produced was not like my favorite so like i want to redo the video with michaela obviously with michaela here like i'm not going to redo the video with michaela with someone else or on myself even but yeah i want michaela to be here do another video with her because that's like one of my favorite videos just because i like our dynamic is so good and we've been friends for so long so like we have that sort of click anyways yeah i'd love to redo that and maybe even do a drag makeup tutorial or drag makeup look sorry on michaela because that would be fun too oh i think it's time for jojo but my skin is looking dry so yeah i want to redo that one just because let's be real let's keep it real her face looked kind of gray in that video um not my proudest moment at all so very very not good and you know what the thing is like i saw while i was busy editing the video i saw that her complexion was a little off and i was just like you know what it's fine it's whatever it must just be the lighting or whatever but it's like such a rookie mistake that i'm like so mad at myself for even doing it so yeah oh i want to redo the the video that i did with avalon just because again the video was fine but the makeup wasn't like also oh also with Avalon, her skin tone didn't really match. Like, I think I went a little dark on her. Because there's like a few shots where you can see, um, where she turns to the side and you can see like the difference between her neck and her face. And that's something we never want. So, I think it's important to like, see your mistakes and notice them and correct them. So that's basically why I want to do this. Just to, I guess, I don't want to prove to anybody that I'm good. I want to show that I'm good, if that makes sense. Because those videos aren't very good representations of what I'm capable of. You know what I mean? Like, I'm capable of matching someone's skin tone perfectly. I've done it before and I keep doing it. It's just, at that stage, it's almost like, where's this brush? It's almost like I didn't care. And I know that sounds bad, but I was almost like, you know what, it's just for YouTube. Like, it doesn't really matter. 
Ew, my nose is so textured. Oh my gosh, that's really gross. Yeah, it's definitely time for jojoba hay. And in actual fact, like YouTube is your biggest advertising, besides from like maybe Instagram. So yeah, I, at that point, didn't really care. I was just like, oh, it's just for YouTube, like it's whatever. But now looking back, I should never have posted it. You know what I mean? Especially because matching someone's skin tone is so important. Um, I think that, you know, that was just a, a big mistake on my part. So yeah, I'll be redoing those two. So expect to see both Avalon and Michaela on here very soon. I don't know if there's any others. I mean, those are the first few that came to mind. So there might be another one that I'm just not thinking of. Dude, why are you hiding? Why? Like that's so unnecessary. At one point, I sort of realized when something was going south and then I'd stop filming. Yeah, and then also if I like was busy editing and I saw that something wasn't looking too good, I'd stop and delete, you know? So it's almost like, cause it were, okay. <laughs> I always try and speak when I'm like doing this part. So there were lots of uh, videos that didn't make it out and I'm not gonna redo those just because no one saw them in the first place, basically. <laughs> so yeah, my goal is not really to impress anybody with this. Honestly, I just kind of want the redemption for myself. I just, the thing is, I know that I'm capable of better work than what I produced in those videos. And the fact that I was just like, okay to post them really like isn't the move. So yeah, it's not like I'm trying to prove myself to anybody. It's just that I just want to like give myself peace of mind because there was a lot of times when I would think about those videos and be like, you know, that's still up and it still is up but it's still up and people can still look at it and people can see like how unsymmetrical this makeup is, how badly I match this person's skin tone, blah, 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 blah. And we don't want that. So let's talk about the look. Okay, so basically it's like this like blue eyeshadow moment with a defined crease line, which is very 60s. So we're just gonna do that. Now, if I could find the brush I wanna use. Hello. Oh, I was right in front of me. So yeah, and then I'll also just like kind of walk through what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure I used these colors for my first one, but basically I'm using the Book of Magic palette. I'm going in with the shade Wish, which is like a really pretty like turquoise kind of moment. So we're just gonna go in with her and just sort of smack it on all over the lid. And in the other one, we did a 60s inspired look, which I guess we'll see where this one takes us just because I'm not sure if I'm going to do like a 60s look or if we're going to do something inspired by the 60s. Um, like I know with that one, we sort of winged it out. Is winged the proper past tense for wing? Because wing is a verb. When you wing your eyeliner. Or when you wing it. Hmm. I feel like it should be one, but one sounds weird. I want it out. No. I want it. No. Winged. But winged also sounds weird. Yeah, we're just packing that onto the lid. The whole lid. Very garage door. So we're doing like almost like a garage door with this turquoise color. Make sure it's blended really nicely. That is such, such a pretty, pretty color. color. It's just so pretty. This palette is like one in a million, honestly. So now I'm gonna go into Bewitched and I'm basically just gonna take a little bit of it, not too much, and do that in like sort of the crease area. Just to sort of define that area a little bit. And like, okay, so in most of my videos I go one full eye and then I do the other on camera. This is more of like what I normally do. I usually do one by one by one. Um, it just also, that helps with symmetry a lot. Okay, so it's not much crease action going on at the moment just because I don't want it to be too defined yet. I think we're just gonna go into Bewitched. Um, let's see how that looks just because I, obviously this is a redo, but that doesn't mean I'm any less nervous because I really am. So yeah. I'm just gonna do it like here yeah, so that I can see. And then as soon as I know what I'm doing, oh, I'm sorry, she, I can't speak anyways. So I'm just gonna do it like this that I can see what I'm doing, and then as soon as I've got it, then I'll do it on the side for you.
Okay, so we've gotten to a point now where I'm like happy with it. So, here you go. I'm gonna show you how I did it on the side. So what I basically did is I went in with the shade Cursed. I dipped that with my application brush tap off as much excess as possible and then basically looking straight into your mirror you're going to want to map out where you want that sort of defined crease to be usually we want it to be just above our crease line just so that when you open your eyes you can still see it so we tapped off a lot of excess so it's not going to be super defined yet um that's the whole point we just sort of want to see where it is and then we'll go in and define it later a good tip actually sorry now that i just realized keep your face relaxed while you do this Focus on symmetry. And then wing it out. Then we can go back in and just define it a little more. And then to make it like quintessential 60s, instead of going up over here, you can just round it. And then that'll make it 60s. And also using a black shadow will make it more like 60s. So that's my tip. Then grabbing an angled brush, I'm just gonna go into crest again and create my little wing. I've spoken many times about how to do a wing. So I'm not going to do it again. We're just going to basically connect those two lines. Okay. It's symmetrical as Girl, shut the fuck up. You thought you ate that. So then, what did I do next? <laughs> yeah. Then go in with Bewitched, which is the darker turquoise shade. It's the one we used in the crease. Tap off the excess. And then just now we're just going to blend that line up. Um, if I can suggest, if this makes sense. We're going to want to blend where the line is and above the line. So we don't want to blend too much that it like blends the bottom part of the line because we want that. That's an easy way to do a cut crease. If you didn't know, instead of grabbing a concealer or a shadow primer and then putting that on a brush and marking out where the cut crease is, you can do it like this too. So just pack on a darker shadow in your crease area and then blend up and then it gives the same effect as a cut crease. So we're just going to blend, like I said, just above that line because we want the line to still be defined. If you need a bigger brush, take a bigger brush, blend that out. If you see that your line is becoming a little less intense, that's fine. Um, just wait until we define it, no, no, and then it should all be better. And we're just gonna blend the same over here. Just blend this little line, under the line basically. So we're just blending under. We're not blending inwards. And then we're gonna go under the eye. Then to redefine that, we're just gonna go back into the cursed shade, the dark blue. Tap off the excess, and then yeah, just go back in. Okay, then we're going back into Cursed, and now we're just going to redefine that line. Then to do these little lines at the bottom, um, I go in with Bewitched first, just to sort of map out where I want them. Try and make this as symmetrical as possible. To get symmetry, I would say look at your mirror head first um, because then you can see what's happening. And then once we have them mapped out, I go in with cursed and then we're just gonna go again, like basically over the same spot. Okay, and then just to like make it a little bit more cohesive, I'm going back into Bewitched on my blender and then just blend over those lines just to get them all out. Blend directly into your eye, that really helps. So yeah, this eyeshadow look is literally three colors. So I used this all over the lid and that's what we can see on the lid. Then I used Bewitched as sort of like a, another blend color and then we used Curse to do all the defining. So, so I'm just gonna quickly do my brows. And then we'll talk some more. I don't know about that though. Okay. So let's do some blush. She just needs some like RNG blush. I know you know. I know you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. That's a lot. It's okay though. Ugh. Bitch. I'm gonna speak to whoever created blush. Okay. I'm gonna speak to them. Because how? Why? when and where it's amazing it really is okay i'm just gonna blush my forehead a little bit let's quickly do some powder contour actually should i do redos of some of the looks that i did on instagram because that could make sense because there's a lot of things that used to be up on my instagram that are now in the archives 
a lot so if you want me to if you think that's a cute idea let me know because then i'll do that too after i do the video with avalon and the video with michaela okay blush the nose the nose has been blushed okay that's a lot okay seem like I'd, at least i can admit when i've done too much illuminates her now let's illuminate the situation It's not completely symmetrical. I'm gonna lose this. That's a little better. Okay. I love myself. Okay, then let's do lips. So, in the other video, I think I did like a pink lip and then I just removed it anyway. So, we're not gonna do that this time. We're just gonna go for like a nude lip. Lipstick. Please do not ask where I got this lipstick from. Just don't do it. Don't do it to yourself, okay? Let's not embarrass each other. You'll know the drill. I love to do this with my lips. Just line them with a powder. I'm just going to overline a tiny bit on the top, actually. That's not dark enough. I think I may have just found my favorite new combo. That looks really pretty. So a little bit of gloss, and then we're done. So, oh no wait, mascara. I almost forgot mascara again. That would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Okay, so just mascara and then we're done. So, see you in the next frame. Okay, so here we have it. Oh wait, let me just... Oh, okay. What is it with me and trying to make, like, taking your hair down sexy? It's the movies. I blame the movies. The movies always, like, give us this impression that when we, like, undo our hair that it's really beautiful and sexy and like it's never the case it's nothing like that it's nothing of the sort so yeah final verdict i think i did a lot better than the first time and i definitely think that i proved myself in terms of like the symmetry of it all i definitely did not prove anything with this hair okay anyways so i think i did better period and that was the whole point so yeah okay so um job mission objective complete or whatever what did they say in gta mission passed yeah, I'm really, really happy and like, I needed this, you know what I mean? Because like sometimes, um, failure is, there's nothing wrong with failing, but I think that sometimes failure can sort of break your confidence a little bit, um, and that's normal, but I do think that like winning, doing something good can really boost your self-confidence and I think that this has. Cause look how beautiful. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it was like out of the ordinary. Maybe I didn't speak enough. Maybe I spoke too much. I don't know, anything is possible. Let me know if you guys would like to see more of these redo videos or if you just don't want to see any of them and you're just like, you know what, let the past be the past. It's the past for a reason. Whether or not you say yes or no, I'm probably going to redo a video with Michaela and one with Avalon just because that vibe is everything. Then there will be more videos with more people just because that was my whole point. Like I remember when I came back last year when i was wearing that purple uh tada shirts i said like i want to do more videos with other people and that is gonna happen 100 percent like i'm being dead serious when i say that that is what i want this youtube channel to be obviously i want there to be little videos with me only history and makeup will probably always be just me but every video every other other video so like every third video that is in history and makeup or every second video that is in history and makeup i want to be with someone else just because it's like that's i want to like that i don't know 
it's hard to explain but that's what i want to do so period so yeah thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you have not already again please subscribe to my channel please like this video if you liked it leave a comment if you'd like to i hope you guys have a great morning or evening or night and i can't wait to see you next time bye <sighs> wow i love me